Virtually every type of landscape consists of a variety of patches that we may consider areas of land that make up a specific type, such as forest, grassland, beach, and etc. Looking at a wide landscape from a bird's eye view shows a mosaic, as described by our text, Smith & Smith 2012, that consists of the variety of patches within our particular landscape. These patches are separated by borders, which can be abrupt and slender, wide, convoluted, or perforated. In this video, we will focus on the various patches found within an area of land in south-central Chile, located between the Pacific Ocean and residential development. Going from west to east, we begin with the massive Pacific Ocean. This body of water meets with the beach, creating an unusual type of border. At certain places and times, this border may be considered abrupt, going from sandy beach to salt water immediately. In this particular case, the border can be considered wide because of the incoming and outgoing waves. Not only is this border wide, but it moves depending on the time of day, high or low tide. Now on the beach, we experience a very sandy environment with some sparse grass further from the edge of the incoming tides. As the beach turns into a patch of forest, we can see that the trees that create the edge of this new forest patch are shorter than those in the middle and on the other side of the patch. We may consider this border wide due to the gradual transition from forest to beach. This long, narrow forest covers many miles north to south along the coast in this part of the world. In this particular area, it is called Bosque Mar in Spanish, which literally means sea forest in English. Therefore, I will use this translation to refer to this patch. As we have already seen, the border between the beach and the sea forest is relatively wide, but the border of the sea forest to the next landscape patch is actually quite abrupt. I believe this to be the result of forestry initiatives in this area several years ago. As we move on to the next patch, we can see that it consists of young pine trees interspersed throughout this grassy landscape patch. It seems that the distance from the sea forest is directly proportional to the height of the pine trees. The closer one is, the taller a particular pine is. Of course, this is only a generalization, but from only observing this landscape, one can notice this trend. The next landscape patch in this area consists of a yellow flowering shrubs patch that grow to about 2 meters in height. The borders of this patch can be considered perforated and convoluted on both ends because there are holes in an already unclear border. The border tends to be curvy, and some of these shrubs extend into the other landscape patches, while some of the grassy landscape extends into this shrub patch. As we continue west, we encounter a similar patch to the grassy landscape with interspersed pine species. Of course, this patch's border is perforated and convoluted with the shrub patch, but it is quite abrupt when it borders with the next patch. Here, a pine forest similar to the sea forest explained earlier distinguishes a clear and straight border. The width of this forest is similar again to that of the sea forest and borders abruptly with a dirt road which signifies the beginning of residential development. Further west exists a railroad, highway, and a large residential neighborhood. 